hear those details. But we can go to Raul Pindi now because General Naeem Khalid Lodi uh, joins us from there. Uh, General Lodi, the Minister of Defence and the caretaker of federal government of uh, Pakistan. Sir, thank you very much indeed for your time. What's the point of Pakistan's reaction here? Uh, it's, it's very simple. I mean, the thing was started by Indians, and you know it very well. Uh, after false allegations of the Pulwama suicide attack, uh, they are the ones who uh, said that no talks, and now we will uh, teach a lesson. And you know that yesterday their plane, they crossed uh, the airspace uh, and uh, went back without doing anything because we scrambled in time and they were pushed back. But because they had crossed the red line, so we had to uh, respond, and that response you have seen today. And I think this is a very measured and a very proportionate response, and we expect that uh, Indian military and political leadership, they understand the message uh, that has uh, gone from our side, and we still vie for peace from here on. We, I think we will again restrain ourselves and wait uh, for their uh, understanding the situation and how the things can conflagrate into a very big thing which can put the future of uh, 1.5 billion people of this area. And I think it is uh, the responsibility of international community uh, to try and understand uh, this escalatory uh, situation which has been initially created by Indians. Okay, and can, I, can I responded. Uh, General, can I just ask you about what you call a false accusation about that suicide attack? that killed 40 at least paramilitary Indian officers right. in Kashmir. You say it's false, oh. but surely jaish e oh, yes. which is based in Pakistan, it may be banned in Pakistan, but we know it's based in Pakistan. Right. jaish e Mohammed has claimed responsibility for that. Okay, so, so, so you, are, you are talking on the assumption that whosoever takes responsibility, uh, that is always a fact. I mean, the man who carried out the suicide attack was found to be uh, from that area, occupied Kashmir. And after two days, they themselves claimed that they have killed the mastermind, which means that he was also in uh, occupied Kashmir. Their own general said that uh, two and a half tons of explosives cannot be exported from a, a neighboring country. And then the marking on the explosive, they were of Indians. Uh, the vehicle which was used, that was Indian. So if the suicide bomber was uh, in, the, in that territory, if the mastermind was in that territory and the explosive use were there. So just if somebody claims uh, that could be a false claim and you understand very well what a false flag operation and how false claims are. This is a post-truth era, uh, sir. And okay. uh, anybody saying that I have done it, it is not necessary that it has been done by them. No, so absolutely. We, we, okay. we don't, um, I agree. That's no. a fair point. Um, what about the statement from uh, Pakistan that says, uh, the target was a non-military target that uh, Pakistan shooting across the line of control uh, with its jets. What would a non-military target be? I, 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 I think, I think there, there's some ambiguity in that. Actually, the statement wanted, and I think they will correct it very soon, they, what they wanted to express was that we are avoiding non-military targets and we are only going for military targets. Uh, I, I think there is some uh, problem as far as uh, this uh, statement uh, is concerned, and it will be corrected very soon. What they are saying is that we are avoiding civilian targets and uh, so that there is no collateral damage, and we will only hit, we have tried our best only to hit the military targets, naturally uh, jets, jet planes are military targets. Uh, so uh, the, I, I think there's some correction required in this statement. Okay. Uh, Imran Khan is the prime minister. The country, I mean, you're a former army officer yourself, and most people know that Pakistan has a history of military governments, and the army is extremely powerful. Any civilian government has to consider the army's position on almost anything, not just a military situation as we have here now. How much would Imran Khan be calling the shots? How much would the military be telling him that this is what needs to be done? I think uh, uh, it is a normal practice in uh, all the countries that whenever it comes to security matters, uh, the suggestions and uh, recommendations of the military, they are taken into account. I, I, you are right once you said that military has, has this history, Pakistan military has this history of uh, interfering in politics and having a lot of say, but the things are changing. Uh, military also has learned its lessons and we understand very well. Uh, the uh, present uh, leadership is uh, pro-democracy. They understand very well that Military cannot handle things which are outside their purview. So I think uh, Imran Khan is uh, quite in control uh, uh, as far as uh, politics and economy and all these things are concerned. But because the security matters are such that he, he does require input and every country, in every country that happens. So that input is going from military. 
and I think uh, he's listening to that. Do you think that there's a realistic possibility of further escalation, possibly some sort of limited conflict if it's not an all-out war? Um, I think uh, if, uh, if these two countries are left alone and uh, uh, the international community remains oblivious of whatever uh, happenings are taking place, uh, there's a possibility of what you are saying. Uh, but uh, I, very soon, I think, uh, already our foreign office is appealing uh, to our friends and uh, also uh, to, uh, to the international community at large that this situation needs to be arrested. Uh, there was a thing done by them. Uh, tit for tat has been uh, done. And from now onward, we are again restraining. So it, it all depends on that. And also, I think uh, how much the uh, military and political leadership of India, uh, they understand that uh, Pakistan cannot be bullied. Uh, if, if they think that there are certain problems, we are ready to talk. Uh, we can come on table. If they, if they don't want to talk to us directly, they can take services of any third country. We are ready for that. Uh, but if they try to bully us, uh, they will get a very strong response each and every time. General Naeem Khalid Lodi, we really appreciate your time, sir. Thank you for joining us on TRT World.